Welcome to Camping with the Coles. I'm Cheryl Coles. And I'm Ben Coles. And today we're gonna to share with you what's in our RV toolbox. We actually don't have just one RV toolbox. We have a toolbox that we keep in the truck that has uh, tools for the truck and the trailer in it. And we have a toolbox that we keep in the trailer, which is specifically for the trailer. That's right. So let's get started with what we keep in the truck. Okay. We keep a bin right at the back of the truck for easy access. This is all the tools we have for roadside emergencies, mostly for flat tires. So let's have a look at what's inside that. Next to the bin, Cheryl got me a nice little kneeler because she didn't want me to hurt my knees when I'm kneeling down and fixing a flat tire. It's actually very comfortable. We also have these traction strips. They are good for putting under the tires if you're stuck in mud or snow or anything like that. Now we'll get right into the bin. In the bin, right easy access, is my boosting station. Uh, this on the back has cables for boosting a car battery or the truck battery. Now, uh, I actually have two of these. I have another one right here. You might think that's a little bit of overkill, but the reason I have two is this is a more powerful one. This is 1400 cranking amps. Um, for a truck, you'd really like to have something that has 1400 cranking amps or more. This one is only a thousand cranking amps. Um, which is better suited for a car. The reason I have two though is because the air compressor on this one doesn't work anymore and I really like having an air compressor. When you're fixing a flat tire, so you've got an air compressor on the back here for uh, blowing up the tire. So it can boost the car battery, can boost the truck battery, fills up the tires. You also have some USB ports and an AC outlet in the front of this. The uh, benefit of the other one is it has a uh, DC outlet on the front of it. So ideally, this is the one I would choose if I was to get one right now. 1400 cranking amps, has a DC outlet on it. We've used this when we were boondocking. We plugged our TV into it rather than uh, wearing out the battery on our, uh, on our travel trailer. We're at the Tanger Outlet Mall in Jeffersonville, Ohio. Next thing we have in here, a couple of traffic safety vests, one for me and one for Cheryl. And we have a couple of, uh, actually three road cones to put up behind the vehicle. Then, some good work gloves. These are some heavier duty ones. Here's a pair of lighter duty ones. We keep a few bungees in here. Uh, that could be for tying down an awning or various other things. When uh, we're filling up a, a propane tank, we can strap the propane tank in the back of the truck so it's not flying all over the place. Also have a torque wrench. Now I keep a bottle jack. This is a uh, eight ton bottle jack, which might be a little overkill because we're certainly not gonna be lifting up eight tons at any one time. But the reason I got this one is because it's nice and short. So I can easily get it in under the axle when I go to uh, jack up the trailer. Usually keep a uh, spare uh, trailer hitch in there and a tarp. The tarp, useful for many things, uh, but especially for uh, uh, repair. If you do get a rip in your roof or a leaky roof, you can put the tarp up there. Uh, to go along with the tarp, you definitely want duct tape, something like that, and we'll get to that in a minute. A tarp's good for covering wood and bikes, that sort of thing. And to keep a toolbox in the trailer. Nice. Handy little device that a buddy of mine uh, just made it out of some uh, heavy gauge wire. So let's have a look at what's in the toolbox. We'll go through each of the things in the toolbox rather quickly. It's a lot of stuff. Um, always have some WD-40. It's handy for a lot of different things. Electrical tape, tape measure. It's a really old fashioned one because I got it from an old friend. Then your standard tools, vice grips, hammer, some wrecking bars, 
couple of files, safety glasses. Uh, this is some really nice stuff, some liquid electrical tape. Uh, it's really handy if it's a, a tight spot to get into and it's difficult to get some electrical tape around it. This just applies with a brush, very handy thing to have. This is a nice little tool to have. You attach it to your drill and it's for uh, bolts that have been uh, stripped and are very difficult to grab a hold of. It has all these little pins. You see in there all these little pins that go in like that, so it goes around a bolt that is stripped. So it's a very th handy thing to have. Along with that is this, and that's to get uh, 90 degrees uh, around a corner with a drill bit. So uh, for really tight spaces to get into. Then we have assorted screwdrivers and pliers. You wanna make sure you have Slot, Phillips, and Robertson. Then you have your Allen keys. We've got three sets here. You got Imperial and Metric, and also ones with uh, these little star heads on. Uh, haven't had any use for them yet, but they came in a pack. We're prepared for anything. Got a couple uh, extra cotter pins and a pin like that. This is a tire valve tightener. So if a valve gets loose on one of your tires, you can use this to tighten it. Cable ties always come in handy have a multimeter for electrical work. This obviously is a uh, very cheap one that I just got off of Amazon. I have a couple of these. This is the one I keep in the truck. Um, but uh, it's to uh, diagnose electrical issues. And this is something that I find invaluable. And actually I have two of them here. One was emptied and I want another one. These are for plugging your tires. If you get a uh, flat tire, if you get a screw or a nail in your tire, you can plug it with uh, these kits. So these are uh, very handy devices and uh, I'll show you at a later time how to actually uh, plug a tire. Also have a little vise. You can attach that to a picnic table when you're camping to hold something in place that you're gonna work on. And I just have some assorted screws, which are always handy to have. And uh, that's basically what I keep in this truck toolbox. But I actually do have a couple more tools in this truck that I keep in the bin. So we'll have a look at that. And next, we have a uh, Rubbermaid bin in there. It has a whole bunch of stuff in it. Just a couple things that are uh, tools. <laughs> you can't, <laughs> forget it. <laughs> I need a longer arm. After you. I have a full socket set. Now again, this might be a little bit of overkill. You don't need this many sockets. You need the sockets that you're definitely gonna use, such as the sockets for your lug nuts, um, socket for your uh, hot water heater to take the plug out, and for your uh, stabilization jacks. You really don't need this entire thing, but it's something I've always carried with me. We've got a lot of sort of stuff in this bin, uh, a lot of it isn't really uh, necessary and we're not gonna go through it all. But one thing we have is this kit, which is an electrical kit. This is an excellent thing to have. We have some wire strippers in here. In the... We have some testers to check for voltage. Um, and then in this part of the kit here, we have all the fuses that we could possibly need in this trailer with some more electrical tape, some grommets, and some zip ties. So this is a very handy thing to have. We uh, never have to worry about uh, a fuse issue. We also keep some uh, power tools in the truck. I have a drill and I already have the socket on here. I use this for the uh, stabilization jacks. I used to use the impact driver, which is uh, a little quicker and a little bit safer, but the impact driver is very loud. Um, so I don't really like using that too much. I'm just very careful and I use the drill. It's much quieter, but I do bring the impact driver. Uh, if I do get a flat tire, it works for taking the uh, lug nuts off the, uh, this, the uh, wheel. So I always have those with me. And that's for what I keep in the truck. 
when we go. Uh, what we keep in the trailer now, we have a little toolbox that we keep in the trailer itself in the front compartment. And then we have uh, some other little tools that we keep in various other spots. Um, with, with the rest of our camping bins. We have a bunch of Rubbermaid bins in the uh, front storage area with different things. One thing we have is a folding shovel, nice little shovel. It works well for picking up coals in the fire pit, for uh, uh, digging a trench if you've got uh, rain coming in a bad spot in your campsite. Always very handy. Also, if, you're, if you do get stuck, it comes in handy. We have a level for leveling off the trailer when we get to a campsite. Tire pressure gauge, electronic one, nice and easy. We keep a few pegs uh, for strapping down the, uh, or pegging down the tarp if we need to. Or the awning. Or the awning. In a hatchet, of course, for uh, splitting wood. And we'll go into this toolbox. Now there are some repeats. Uh, I like to keep a lot of tools in here too. First of all, screen repair tape. If you do get a rip in your screen, you can stick this stuff on and it's a permanent repair. Uh, doesn't look fantastic, but it repairs it so uh, you're not gonna get any bugs, mosquitoes and stuff flying in. Always have rope. You can use rope for uh, many different things. Zip ties again. Again, a lot of screwdrivers and wrenches. Different size wrenches, adjustable wrenches. Lots of screwdrivers. You can never have too many screwdrivers. I keep an extra screwdriver in the trailer for when things come loose. Little hammer. Little wrecking, wrecking bar or nail puller. What every RVer has to have duct tape. Duct tape, duct tape, always have duct tape. I think we got three rolls between the trailer and truck. Have some uh, self-fusing silicone tape, similar to electrical tape, but it doesn't actually have uh, an adhesive to it. And you can put it on wet. You just stretch it out and wrap around. It does a great job. Exacto knife. Dielectric grease. You put that on the uh, uh, electrical connections. Uh, I usually use this on the uh, uh, seven pin connector for the uh, trailer wiring to uh, make a good connection and to prevent corrosion. Have a little compression spring. Uh, needed one of these when the uh, screen door latch broke on the trailer. Takes a little compression spring like that. So I have an extra one here. This is extra string for the blinds. One of the uh, strings broke last year, so I repaired it and uh, keep the string here. The blind strings, if they do break, they are fairly easy to repair. Um, so I've got the repair stuff for that there. Rubber roof repair tape. It's looking pretty rough. We've had this for a long time, but we've used a lot of it. Uh, this is very important to keep with you. If you back into a site and a branch hits your rubber roof and puts a big tear in it, yeah, you can tarp it as a temporary thing, but this stuff is a permanent fix. You uh, just clean the area of the roof and you put this tape on, roll it on, press it down, and it's a permanent repair for your roof. You don't need to caulk it or anything else. It's just this stuff. Have several uh, pin type things, cotter pins, extra bolts, for the uh, trailer hitch, got a few of them. Have a little bit of plumber's tape for doing any plumbing work. Seals the, uh, the joint tightly. Awning repair tape. We're getting low on awning repair tape, but uh, we used this on our last trailer. Uh, we had some damage to the awning. Put the tape on it. It'll hold for a couple of years. It's probably best to put tape on the top and the bottom. You want to keep this stuff with you because uh, if you do get a rip in your awning, you don't want the rip to get any bigger. Uh, if you didn't have this, you could temporarily fix it with duct tape, but may as well just have this and do a permanent fix on it. Spare plug. I don't know about you, but uh, <laughs> I, 
<laughs> I've on a couple of occasions uh, misplaced the plug after taking out the plug to the fresh water tank when I'm dumping it, uh, leaving a campsite. Uh, I have misplaced this plug, so I've purchased extra ones now uh, because you'd hate to get to the next site and go to fill up your fresh water tank and realize you don't have a plug to put in it, so you can't fill it up. So it's nice to have an extra one. Good to have two of everything. Yeah. A couple other hose things. Spare washers for a hose. Uh, a lot of times you lose the washer. And uh, if you don't have a washer in there, water's gonna go spraying right out. It won't have the proper seal. So we keep spare washers for the hoses. And I have a whole bunch of uh, ratcheting wrenches. And uh, really, the only reason I have these is I got them at a really good deal at a garage sale. And uh, so I bring these along and they're uh, quite nice, quite handy to have. And that's pretty much what is in this. Well, I do have one other thing. It's a whole bunch of like medical tools, but uh, that's for working on my drone. When I had an old drone, I had to repair it a lot. So I have a bunch of tools here. Um, the other good thing is I'm prepared for some delicate surgery if need be. Okay, and there you have it. This is what we carry in our RV truck toolbox kit. Um, you don't need to carry everything that we do, just what you find important, what works for you. Um, if you think there's something we're missing, please let us know in the comments below and let us know what tools you carry as well. So thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.